Isn't it just fascinating how Meghan Markle and Prince Harry continue to be the poster children for hypocrisy? These two have been whining and moaning about their relentless desire for privacy, but it seems they have no qualms about basking in the spotlight whenever it suits them. Buckle up, folks, because we're about to delve deeper into the world of Meghan and Harry, where contradictions and entitlement reign supreme. So here's the scoop. Meghan and Harry decided to jet off to Costa Rica just before the holidays. And guess what? They couldn't resist the allure of the paparazzi lens. Yes, you heard it right. The same couple who claimed to despise the media and portray themselves as perpetual victims just had to strike a pose for the cameras during their supposedly private getaway. Bravo, guys. Bravo. The hypocrisy knows no bounds. Now, let's talk about their precious little ones, shall we? They paraded their daughter Lilibet around as if she were some sort of accessory for their vacation photos. Harry, the ever-so-doting dad, was seen driving a golf cart with little Lilibet perched on his lap. And of course, there's another shot of Meghan carrying Lilibet as they stroll from their luxurious resort. How heartwarming, right? Wrong. But hold on to your hats, because here's where things get truly eyebrow-raising. A source spilled the beans and revealed that the child they were flaunting as Archie wasn't Archie at all. Shocking, isn't it? It turns out that's Heather Doric's son, Heather being Meghan's longtime bestie. Oh, what a convenient mix-up, right? Coincidentally, both Heather and Meghan were pregnant around the same time in late 2018, and their sons are only months apart. It's almost as if Meghan borrowed Heather's son to impersonate Archie during their little getaway. Talk about deception and smoke and mirrors. But wait, there's more. A caregiver from a child development center in California decided to spill the tea, and it's scalding hot. According to this brave individual, there's absolutely no evidence of any child-related paraphernalia in or around Meghan and Harry's home. Not a single trace. And here's the kicker. They never, and I mean never, take the kids with them when they travel. It's as if these children are some mythical creatures existing only in the realm of PR stunts and carefully curated photo ops. And let's not forget the neighbors. They've been raising their eyebrows for a while now, too. No play equipment. No signs of children playing in the garden. Nada. It's like a ghost town for kids in there. So here's the million-dollar question. Do Meghan and Harry even have children living with them? Or are these kids just props trotted out when it suits their narrative and stashed away the rest of the time? The truth remains elusive, my friends. But one thing's for sure. Meghan and Harry sure know how to keep us all guessing while they continue to play the game of public perception.